Why do we find ourselves stalling on the things that we want to do most? Why is it that we can never find the time for these big and important projects in our life? I used to talk a lot about my dreams, about the things I wanted to do and the projects I wanted to complete. But in reality, most of them ended up falling by the wayside. Eventually, life just got in the way and those projects never really got off the ground. The adventures never really materialized. The dreams became distant memories and I found new ones to replace them. There's this phenomenon I call the speech action gap. The literature calls it the attitude behavior gap or the intention behavior gap, but for simplicity, let's just call it the speech action gap. The speech action gap is this comfortable place where we get to talk a big game, but we don't actually have to do any of the work or confront any of our fears or expose ourselves to failure. In a sense, it's a fantastic trick that our brains play on us. We can just say that we're going to make it big in this world, do absolutely nothing to follow up, and then when we inevitably fall short, we can make up new stories and keep on feeling good about ourselves. It's a great recipe for psychological comfort, but it's also a guarantee for a life of mediocrity. If we truly want to be out there chasing and living our dreams, we need to be able to eliminate this speech action gap. So what causes the speech action gap and how do we get out of it? Well, to answer that question, we need to look at the idea of authenticity. You see, authenticity has a bit of a problem. Everyone seems to know what it is, except we have it completely back to front. Let me explain. Study after study has shown that if you get people to write down their core beliefs and values, their view of their authentic self, and then get them to do a bunch of different tasks with other people, people rate themselves as feeling most authentic, not when they're aligning their actions with their core beliefs, but when they're doing things that make them look good in front of others. In other words, we tell ourselves we're being our most authentic, not when we're chasing our dreams and aligning ourselves with our innermost values, but when we're folding to the demands and expectations of our friends, our family, and society. So basically, we rate ourselves as feeling most authentic when we're actually being least authentic. That's a problem, because our default feel-good definition of authenticity doesn't involve chasing our dreams. It involves drifting through life, people-pleasing and blending into the crowd, becoming as normal and average and mediocre as possible. Feeling authentic seems to mean doing anything other than being authentic. And this is where we have it mixed up. Authenticity isn't about what you feel. It's about what you do. You see, the word authenticity originally came into the English language from translations of the work of German philosopher Martin Heidegger. The original word, Eigentlichkeit, is probably actually better translated as ownedness or being one's own. In other words, authenticity means owning our actions and the person that those actions make us. You see, Heidegger sees life as this great project where every action that you do contributes to the story of your life. Every choice that you make, every action that you complete adds together piece by piece until the day that you take your final action on the day that you die. Only then can we look back at your life as a complete project and see the kind of person that you truly were. But what remains at this point is not the things that you said that you wanted to do, not the person that you imagined you could be, but the person that you actually were, as measured by the sum of all the actions you took in your life. And this is where going back to that original definition of authenticity reveals something really interesting. Because Inauthenticity doesn't really exist under Heidegger's definition. You can't take inauthentic actions because those actions, by definition, are the authentic you. 
whether or not you feel like they match who you really want to be, those actions represent who you really are. As Aristotle once said, you are what you repeatedly do. Now, I understand that this might be a lot to take on. Taking complete ownership of our actions to embrace the reality of authenticity is a big responsibility, and it could be a big burden. It's no wonder that our modern idea of authenticity has been corrupted to only include the things that make us feel good and accepted by others. But if we can accept the truth that our authentic selves are defined only by the actions that we take, then we can start making sure that the actions that we do take allow us to create an authentic self that is closer to the person that we want to be. And that is the secret of closing the speech action gap. That is how we use authenticity to chase our dreams. When we decide to confront the fact that our actions are the only thing that truly make up who we are, we're forced to delete the speech action gap. We no longer have this warm pocket of comfort where we can hide from the fact that we aren't doing the things that we need to be doing to reach our goals. Now let's relate all of that back to identity. If authenticity is the person that we are due to our actions, our identity is the person that we hope to be through our current and future actions. Our identity is the speech, and authenticity is the action. In Heidegger's view, our identity is never a guaranteed thing. It's always in question. And it's only through our actions that we take a concrete stance on who we truly are. Therefore, what we want to be able to do is align our identities with our authentic selves. If there is any separation between the two, then we're back in this speech action gap. We're not being the person that we say we want to be. If you haven't seen my recent video about identity and action, I'll put a link to that on screen somewhere about now. In that video, we go into a tool where we use our identities to determine the actions that we take in every moment. So if you're interested in that, go check that video out. Today, we're going to talk about another similar tool. This tool uses our newfound understanding of authenticity and ownership of our actions to make sure that we're actually getting out there and chasing our dreams and making progress on our most valued life projects. This tool is a simple but effective way to get you from talking about doing things to actually progressing towards them. First, I want you to write down whatever your project or dream is. You can do this at the top of a blank piece of paper, in your journal, or even in the notes app in your phone. It doesn't really matter where, as long as you write down a short, clear description of whatever it is you want to achieve. Now, every single day, when you get up, Write down exactly one thing that you can do today to progress towards that goal. It might be a small thing. It might be a big thing. But make sure it's definitely something that you can do today. Then, at the end of the day, come back and have a look. Put a tick next to the item if you did it and cross it out if you didn't. Now, as this list grows, you've got a physical, undeniable record of the days where you took action towards who you wanted to be and the days where you were trapped in the speech action gap. If you mess up and don't hit every day, that's okay too. The key thing is, is that as the list grows, you'll see the definite and ongoing progress that you're making towards your target. And as more things get added to this list, the closer and closer you're going to be to whatever your target is. For example, I make sure that I do something for this YouTube channel every single day. It might be to write down just one new idea for an episode. It might be to start writing a new script. It might be to edit and finish another one. It might even be to sit down and actually get around to recording. Over time, I'm moving towards having created a channel with one video and then two videos and so on. The only way that I'm going to build this channel into something valuable is by taking little steps every single day to help it grow. Without taking continuous action, my dreams of creating this channel are just that, dreams. 
On that note, here's one action you can take today to help turn my dream into a reality. Go ahead and hit the like button on this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. If you know someone that you think would find this video interesting or helpful, send it through to them. Every like and share helps me grow this project and allows more people to see and access this content. So thank you for your help. If you've got questions about anything that I've spoken about in this episode, or if you've got an example where you've gotten yourself out of the speech action gap, I'd love to hear about it. So go ahead and put your own experience down in the comments. If something specific worked for you, I'm sure it'll be able to help someone else as well. All right, that's all from me for today. I'll see you in the next one.